Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode, episode two of Read and React. And I'm your host, Wes Hunt. I mean, go check out our other podcast, High Frequency Convo. Check out, I mean, I hope y'all enjoying the new channel, ETW. But we got some things coming along your way, and um, let's get right into it. It's episode two, Read and React, baby. Now, I mean, um, we got some other shit coming too. I'm going to try to do some other things. <clears throat> With the other videos, react to other things, even movies and sports and politics and even things like that. But um, I'm for my I'm for my for my fellas. So I mean, I like to react on these motherfucking these, these relationship videos, and that's what this channel is gonna be a lot about. Hoping I really this relationships, so motherfuckers. I mean, what? Welcome back, man, and I hope you enjoyed episode one. Like I told you, I was a hot fixing combo. It's gonna keep getting better and better and better and better. The quality, the audio quality, the video quality. I think we'll keep getting better and better for y'all. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Like, share, and subscribe to the I Fix You channel. Go check out our SoundCloud, West Hunt LG, all one, all together, and go follow us there. Go check out the music we got going on there. Check out the other things we got coming on ECW channel. We're going to get right into it. I don't want to waste too much time. But this, uh, this video is from Fresh and Fit's channel, but as, as uh, Kevin Samuels proved that these other girls become terrible mothers. Let me make sure. It's Fresh and Fit channel. I don't get the right people though. Yeah, Fresh and Fit channel. I don't get the right people they credit. I mean, so like these, this is Kim Samuels were like basically reading these bitches and telling them like, how how would they become um good mothers or or bad mothers? But so yeah, let's get right into it. I never seen this one, so let's do it. Kevin's here. Uh, Kevin Samuels in the house. All right, let's. Okay, yeah, guys. Man. Welcome, Bring to Kevin. In. All right, shout out Kevin Samuels in the house, man. Welcome, Kevin. Uh, What's going on, people? Hey, what's good, up, man. Good. Um, hey. Hi. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hello. One. So we're talking about two different things. One, part of image called digital footprint. Once it's on the internet, it's forever. Mm. And um, I don't know how your, your backgrounds, but I would tell you as an image professional, people have spent upwards of $100,000 to remove everything off the internet, and they still can't get it done. Um. Find me a Fortune 2000 CEO that is happy to have naked pictures of his woman out there. Men care. We are territorial. So just like the one woman who says the, the two married, the married people there, um, that's anecdotal. And one thing I, I want to ask all the women there, Myron's been trying to give you what men think, and you've been pushing back. Why is it so hard for you ladies to accept that we think differently than you do? We can start here. Yeah, you can hear you guys if you guys talking to Mike. We can start here and then go around. Okay. So. I mean, it's not hard to accept that. It's just saying us women, we have our own opinion as well. So, I mean, I accept a man's opinion and how he feels, but like how I said, I'm not going to go for the guy that thinks that way. I'm, I'd rather stay single and find somebody that thinks the way I do. And well, you accept a man opinion and how I feel, but you ain't going to go for somebody that thinks that way. But that's a man's opinion. So you're not going to go for no man. And everybody's going to be differently. I'm not exactly what everything's going to have to say. But at the end of the day, men and women do share generalizations. You know what I mean, men don't want no slut to be their wife. That's going to get it twisted. Men like sluts. They're fun. They have a use. But when you talk about settling down, having a kid, starting a family, and then introducing to your friends and mom, that you don't want no thought either. It's embarrassing. It's like having a same thing as having a loser. Not me for a girl. Or a guy that's soft, or a guy that may have had a, a, a homosexual past. Like, there's no girl who want that shit. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we're not the same. So, y'all got the things y'all y'all want, we got the outstanding that we want. That I means it's only right. It just makes sense. So, okay, okay. so, so understand something. You control access to sex. We control access to relationships and marriage. So it's not your choice. It's the man's choice, and it's the man that accepts right. him. Right, right. So mm -hmm. we're not talking about a man that you don't value. See, a man that you value, a woman values. See, this all sounds well and good for when you're in a power position with a man, and you can take him or leave him. But what about a man that you want? I don't want a man that doesn't want me. I'm sorry to say. See, so you could ask this, me for this, that question now. Okay, well, well, what, so basically what you've said is you haven't met a man that you value higher than yourself. 
Um, I've met a man that I value higher than myself, but I wasn't ready around that time because I was not just not ready. Now that I look back at it, I'm like, okay, I should have valued that man because he was good enough for me because he accepts me for who I am. But coming across other men that are not like that, I mean, I'm not going to pick a guy that doesn't accept me for who I am. I'm just going to be like, okay, on to the next one to the uh, man that actually accepts So I'd like to ask the woman something. Do you accept men for who they are? Or do you got a set of fucking prerequisite standards that you have? You have to be over six feet. You have to have this much money. You have to have this. You got to be this. You got to be a leader. You got to be able to put me in my place. You got to... So why do we have to accept you for who you are? Why you why, why do we can't have our fucking standards? I mean, like, you're accepting a man for years, you got to pre the standards. Like, all you're trying to say is that men will have these standards too. You know what I mean? And that's the reason, oh, yeah, all, all your motherfuckers is usually single on the show. Because y'all get fucked. What's going to be off you out of good relationships? Because men don't want that. Most men. You get a certain a selected men that will take you out and get, take a bitch off the pole and make her the wife and whatever the case may be. But most men are not going to love that. Especially these corporate men. Hell no. They don't want to take you to these businessmen and then shit with the mayor and all this other shit and, and they run all their friends. You have thought of. I mean, like, it makes no sense. Then there's classy women out there. Then there's beautiful classy women out there. So it's like... Yeah, That's yeah, me yeah, for yeah. who I am. So... Ask a different woman this question that actually wants to pursue a man that is she's interested in and doesn't like her for what she does, then she might just give you the answer that you're looking for. But for I'm, me, not, I'm looking for I'm, I'm looking for the, what I'm looking for is the truth and then how well you. That's my truth. Okay, but I'm see, being honest. Okay, okay. What I'm looking for, I'll let you speak. Can I? Can I have the opportunity? To speak? Yes, sir. What I'm looking for is not your truth. I'm looking for the truth. The truth is not really subjective. And so that's one thing that with modern women today. I mentioned on my program. Whenever you press modern women, it tends to get the truth becomes subjective, variable, or extreme. Now, now, with you say you're not looking for a particular man, that's fine. But my my thing is this: when women are looking to finally settle down and be found by someone, men think different than you do, especially men with options. Mm, I think that's true, and it all has to be money. If a guy gets a lot of girls for the females. Yeah, they ain't putting up for all that shit. That's why I always the women men y'all want. That's where I can keep. Them. She try to do all that shit. Y'all do with simps, the niggas that can't get a lot of girls will get a lot of pussy, and they try to do that shit on that nigga. He like what? Then there's a guy in the hood that just get a lot of girls. What's this guy with money and status? Like we got options. If I leave you, it's not gonna be hard for me to get another chick. Then another chick. Then another chick. But a guy that's struggling with women, they're gonna put up with all that shit. And y'all go for a lot of guys like that, whether subconsciously or consciously, and then y'all think that's the makeup of a guy. So y'all think like nigga, please, I can always. You know what I need to do here, you're gonna leave me with. No, nigga. The guys y'all want, that's why I can't get them. The guys y'all want, that's why I can't keep them. The guys y'all want, I'm gonna keep up with that. Because the guys y'all want has standards. They're on your level or above. This is why y'all want them. I agree with that. But there's different women, different personalities, and different people in this world. So, like how I said before, I'm sticking to what I'm saying. I'm not like most of women. Of course, but of course, you are, but that, a woman that is like that. Of course, she's gonna be like, "Well, yeah, I want to settle down, and well, I want to." Like, I, said, like I, I said, it's always that. How do you? I'm not, I'm Twenty-seven. Not. Okay, um, you you think differently probably by thirty-seven. No, I've already thought about this. I already told myself mm-hmm. if I don't find anybody that accepts me for who I am, I'm just gonna go to a sperm bank and just raise a child myself. But. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this is the buy dog die alone, and, and guess what? You're free to have that. You're free but to I have love, those. Dogs. I love who I am. That's the beautiful. That's the beautiful thing about this country. Women are free to buy dogs, have sperm bank children, and die alone. No one's going to stop you. But I'm talking about the kind and caliber of men that you women would want. See, like I said again, this is easy to say when you're in a power position. You're still at the peak or closer to the peak of your hotness. But ten years from now, uh, it will change. It always does. Halle Berry. It's true even for guys. As you get older, your mentality changes, what you want changes, your aspirations change, your standards change, how you think change. Like, if you, especially if you've grown, you know what I mean? So it's like the way you may feel at 27, 24, 25, 26 is not necessarily the way you may feel at 30 and 40 and 50. Because remember, you're, not, you're in a different zone. It's like you're going through a book. Chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three is nothing alike. They may be similar because leading up to chapter four, five, and six is a bridge, but it's nothing like it. That is definitely nothing like chapter four, five, and six. So as you're going through life, whether it's voluntary or involuntarily, life is going to change. I mean, and if your mentality don't change, your, your surroundings are going to change. Where you're not growing, everybody's just growing, and you're going to be in some kind of rut. 
or if you do start changing, it may be too late. That's what I'm trying to say. So you may have to have the, 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 this mentality of realism and how the world really works and what men want from now. I mean, and when I say more men want, everybody's different once again, but there's generalizations. The vast majority of women, they want a man to provide, protect, be over six feet, do this, be a leader, blah, 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 be competent, compete them in a place. So that's a prerequisite set of pre-selection standards that every woman wants. So if y'all have that, men have to have a certain own, they certain own as well. It's just common sense. It's common sense made before books. So if women have the set of prerequisite standards, men generally have to have a set of prerequisite standards that we all could be upon. You know I mean, and complaining about child over. support and bitching about having to pay money. And I don't think anybody on this panel was hotter than Halle Berry was and not, not, not the hottest person, hottest woman in the world four years in a row, four years running. So. See my mother grow. What a man. I mean, I don't know. Like I've seen my mother with grow and uh, she's been in two marriages and she was not posting her ass out there and she got tried by my stepfather and my dad too. And I mean, like I've seen how my mother has been always a good woman and these men, well, men in general, certain men, not all men, because I can't say all men are the same. I'm not going to be sexist or biased in that sense, but I'm just going to say that some men, most men, most men don't appreciate somebody so i see my mother raise me the type of woman that i am and she's always told me you don't need somebody to define you so if you want to have somebody what does your mother do for a living my mom's an eye surgeon what's your what's your father would you say your stepfather my stepfather yeah what about him so your plan is because you show your mother be a good woman all these years so your plans are like oh i saw you're being a good woman and you still got played and dogged and fucking by these other niggas. So I'm just gonna be a, a piece of shit. If you wanna go out, how you wanna go out? That a piece of shit? Or being a good person? Being a good person is always the goal. So if anything, this they fault. They fucked up. They got that karma coming to them. But that means you change who you are and become a piece of shit just to uh, match energies or whatever was the case. It makes no sense to me. Your mom's a good woman. Maybe you should take that advice. Take things what she did wrong. And do it right, and be a little more screen. Do a little more screening pre relationship, so you could probably you could do be a little more equipped to figure out the fuck boys, but become a bad person just because your mom's a good one. You saw get fucked. It's the stupidest thing ever. What did he do? He owns a corporate company for cement. Okay, so your mother was an exceptional earner. Yeah, she was an exceptional earner. Okay, all right. So her options and your options and most women's options are different. So your mother raised you to have. And you can believe what you want. I'm, I'm not trying to change what you believe, but what I'm trying to understand is how often do you modern women understand how men think? And see, that's what Myron, what Myron was getting to push for. I'm, mother, I'm hearing anecdotal, my mom, my this, my that. Do you understand how men think? I do. I have to have a conversation with my father all the time. That's one man. Because mm -hmm. I don't... That's the most no important way, If you guys truly understood how men think, the amount of pushback you guys are giving Myron would have been much less. But see, this is what happens when you tend to speak to women who are younger and kind of around the peak of their hotness. You are, at the, you, you can, the world is still your oyster. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to make examples based upon an eye surgeon, all right, but I don't know many people whose mothers are eye surgeons, but most women need a man to get from one point of life to another because you earn less than us. The average median income for the woman in this country is 25123 the average man is $36,000 a year. You need two incomes. So most people can't get to the end of life. So this whole variable notion about I'll just have a baby on my own, such and so forth, unless you're talking about making one hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000 for the rest of your life, I don't know how you plan on doing that comfortably. That's the goal. I have a quick question. That's the goal. What are your high income skills, though? I'm studying cybersecurity, um, engineering, and I'm I can make up to 120 to 200K a year. So I'm. Okay. okay. And, I'm, and a I'm a chemical engineer. I'm going to tell you that's oh, still. Okay, that, is, that is. But I make money. Hmm. But that's the new. That's, but that's not the new. And see. And what I what I hear from a lot of modern women is you cherish you cherish your independence mm -hmm. more than you cherish what a man brings to the table. It's like if a man can't pay his way, yeah. pay hundred percent of the way for you guys, he's not useful. Well, and I think I was you gonna say that because we in a bag era, girls. You gonna pay my rent? You can do this. 
I'm gonna let y'all know if y'all don't know this already. Y'all mindset and what y'all doing for the females is prostitution. Y'all all fucking prostitutes. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to diss y'all. It's just common sense. You exchanging goods for services. <laughs> you exchanging your body, your pussy, your mouth, your ass, whatever you are into, for bags, getting flown out, shopping sprees, money. That's what that sounds like to you. Prostitutes fuck and get paid. Y'all fuck and get paid. Y'all moving around like y'all some swag bosses. Y'all prostitutes. And prostitutes got more honor than y'all. Because at least they keep it trill. <laughs> At least they know what they're doing. I'm a sex worker. I'm an escort. I'm a fucking prostitute. I'm a whore. I'm a fucking. Y'all niggas act like y'all some boss bitches, some fly bitches. Just because y'all look good, y'all don't mean y'all not prostitutes. Y'all good looking prostitutes. Y'all prostitutes. I hope y'all know. And guys, y'all do tricks. But long term tricks. Because even when you, at least when you trick and pay a prostitute, it's, a, it's, one, it's, it's one and done. Y'all niggas paying long term. Y'all paying their bills. Y'all getting their hair done. Y'all get your buttons. To... <laughs> pussy. I think this is crazy. Hello? It's all good. Right. I'm calling really, really, really right now. Just let me know. Text me. Alright. But I just hope y'all know that. Y'all 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 are prostitutes. I just hope. And you got y'all 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 long term tricks. If you do a man drugs, you're a drug addict. Like, like it, it makes it sound cool to the music shit, but y'all niggas, this shit should be looked down upon when I was growing up. Now this is the cool thing. Y'all fucking prostitutes. You guys are gonna realize something in the next ten years that the world has so told you that you can have it all. You can't. Life is about choices and trade offs. For us all. I have a quick question. Good. Um, so uh, piggybacking on the idea that she said that uh, she'd like to raise a kid on her own. What about those women that didn't necessarily? Because we're talking about like whole comparison things. So what about the women that didn't choose to raise a kid on their own? Yeah, like, yeah, right, so, like, like obviously. So like for example, it's it's a guy. Are you asking me? Uh, well, you and like everyone on well, the first of all, first of all, women of the fifty plus percent divorce rate, women are filing seventy eighty percent of all divorces. Women are choosing to wreck their own homes every day. Men are not choosing to wreck their own homes and make women single parents. That's a choice that women are making. Uh, why? Because their husbands are trash, treating them badly. Yeah, this is the, okay, now, you, now here we go with the ad hominem stuff. Here we go with the same old throats. And we go with the same old throats. Yeah, this is this this is this is the same shit that's been. You know, why do they why do they get divorced? Why do they get men? You think it's all men? That's how percentage is up to y'all niggas. You think the scale is slanted to hundred percent? The reason that everyone says is men. Where's the accountability at? Accountability is the word of the fucking century. Accountability. Okay, we know the problems men do. We know the things men do. But what are y'all doing to not make successful relationships? You ever thought about that? One at a time. One at a time, though. This is the same stuff that's been piped into the culture forever. That when a woman chooses to break her home, it's always the man's fault. I was more so asking a question from like the child's like first day of birth, right? Children have birth certificates and it's the woman's like responsibility to sign it. It's not the man's responsibility to sign it. They don't have to sign it. Like, wait, 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 So I was asking. No, 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 that's not true. Okay, so I don't. No, don't, hold on. That's not ma'am. That's not true. If you're married, it is your responsibility to sign your child's birth certificate. But if you're not, is what I asked. That's the point. You should marry before you carry. That's an facts. opinion. Huh? That's yeah, not a. Opinion. That's not an opinion. That's facts. facts. It, it's statistically, it's who's a psychology major? Who's a psychology person? Yeah. Okay. Children do better in a two-parent household in general. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. But I don't. I don't understand what that necessarily is. Because a, because a child has the opt because a union of marriage is one of the best institutions a, a human beings have to date. For the rearing of children, it's prime. It's the primary reason. So, so see this whole notion about. I have opinions, but I also have like the psychological, like 
you know what I'm saying? Like, there's an opinion, and there's you understand what, I, what, I, what, and see what I'm what you're still hearing is a lot of women on the panel who understand your points of view, but um, you're hearing less and less about anything from men. It's always every time I've asked a question about a man, it's been something negative, something detracting. It's not nothing has been positive. I just simply asked a question in regards to like because you said. Um, oh, do you expect to make a hundred to two hundred thousand to support that child? Um, in regards to Valentina, so I was just curious, like, what you think about the women who don't have a choice in that? <laughs> well, you do have a choice. You just don't like your you don't like your choices. You chose the man you laid down and made a baby with. Yep. You chose to bring a child into the world. For I, 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 that's another thing. That's fucking common. I'm cooking now. Welcome to Read and React episode two. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Pass, spam the comments, please. In the motherfucking thing. Do I gotta do it? Like, hey, welcome to YouTube. Like, like, oh, like, like, share, subscribe. Like, this is content. I'm vibing out. I'm giving you out jewels. And also, the content is hard, especially if I didn't see. But, yo. <laughs> yo, how the fuck? For that man, then you can choose to do your duty. Thank you. I lost some chat. I have to remember what I say. Listen. Why does woman lay down with niggas? Fuck niggas, suck niggas, dick, date them, they pregnant about them, they talk about how much losing they was, why they, they, they regret they ever did it, he's a deadbeat, this, that, and the third dog on this nigga, but yes, still, you like it enough to fuck him, suck him, and get scratched in, and yes, he's a loser, and well, if, I'm, if I had no choice in the position, you had a choice, you should have vetted him. Had a better screening process. And you did it. Now he's a loser and all that. Okay, if he's a loser and a trash bag, but you having a baby by him, what does that make you? So but psychologically, like we were speaking okay, earlier. So, 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 hold on. Time, again, those are your choices. See, those are choices. And, if, and right now, again, I want you guys to go back and clip this. Every time I've talked about a man, there's been something negative or, or, or downside. Mm -hmm. Yet to hear anything positive about anything regarding a man relationship or the benefit of a man and a woman working together. We, does that have more to say about the man saying. or us, though? Right. Yeah. Because if we have nothing positive to say, then in our experience, there's been nothing positive. Well, then, well, if. Then if y'all keep having negative experience after negative experience after negative experience after with men after men after men, who fall is that? So you think all men are just pieces of shit? Or y'all think y'all getting a certain type of man because y'all not learning from the fucking first lesson y'all supposed to learn from the first relationship. So you don't learn that lesson. So what the all is going to do, then you go back in the relationship again. So you have to learn that lesson. But you don't learn that lesson. So you have to go, who fall is that? Accountability again. Who's choosing these people? Why you get a whole group of girls that have great relationships with men, new good men, have a relationship, but you keep fucking up? Who for is that? Who's picking these men? Are you picking different type of men all across the board and they just all exactly the same? Or are you picking the same type of fucking guys? And blaming guys instead of not playing one blame on yourself. They all some accountability, don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, you choose them. If that's the case, you pick them. There you mm. go. <laughs> so everything is the cho our, our choice, right? Yes. Yes. You versus like, you. you chose, yes, you pick. Yes, ma'am. You because just like every man you've chosen, there have been other men who may have been suitable, but he may not. He's not tall enough. He's not this. He's not that. Mm -hmm. There are no women on this panel that are hideous. You get to pick. See what you cannot do is what women typically try to do: absolve themselves from all accountability and consequence. I believe that everybody gets consequences for what they choose to do. However, really, what well, I don't hear any on this panel. She just said, "What you said? What about the women who didn't do this, this, this? Well, what about the mothers who didn't choose to do this?" I didn't list anything. I specifically asked you a question in regards to children. I said the one who just spoke before you. Oh, okay. Sure. I, like, I like how he talks more. <laughs> Valentina, <laughs> I feel like I you can't yeah, you can't get a word in. He's That's so Valentina, okay. You had a question, right? Um. Wait, what you as a single mom, as a single mom. Okay, yeah, as a single mom, I agree with him saying like, okay, like I'm supposed to lay down and you know for the man or whatever. But when you're saying like, oh, I chose to like like give birth to the kid, like what about if you found out you're pregnant when you were seven months pregnant? Because that was my situation. Like it was like you're having the baby or you're like <laughs> that's just your responsibility. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>
how the fuck do you find out you was pregnant seven months in? And you're gonna try to say that's also not your fault. Just so you show no signs. You didn't show no morning sickness. No, no kicking this. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just the or giving shit. up the baby for adoption, but then like I, I'm I wasn't gonna do that. Like that's more like you know, like sorry, how does that well, no, it's still your fault you did it? So that's your question. Stop letting me you. you don't find out they're pregnant in month seven. Exactly. Huh? I mean that's just not the norm. Very, very, with very, all very medical technology thing. today. You know you have a monthly cycle. It does not come. That's usually trick one. There are many options many down fucking the path. But again, you find out you had a baby on the way. You did have the option to give it up for adoption. You just chose not to exercise that. It's still a choice. Oh, oh okay. Dumbass. Accountability. And then you were saying something about marriage certificate, right? That the, the somebody. No, no, I was that. asking about the birth certificate. I asked why, in most cases, it's the mother's responsibility to take care of a child instead of the father's. Because we were men and women, so I was just asking in yeah. that instance. Usually, like the court, the court system looks immediately to the woman. No, not true. And the thing is, if you have a child and you're married and the divorce is not final 11 months before the child is married, the but father's name goes on. Excuse me, let me finish my example. Let, just let him finish and then you can make a point. If you're married and the find yourself divorced and your ex-wife has a baby less than 11 months after you're pregnant, after your divorce is final, the father's name, the husband's name goes on, the, the ex-husband's name goes on the birth certificate. That's federal law. Okay. So it's not, so it doesn't just automatically default to a woman. The man's name is on a birth certificate. My name ended up on a birth certificate. I'm with an ex-wife that way. Like the majority, we're talking about the majority. Not everyone has children after they get married. And you guys are focusing on the, the relationships that come from marriage. But and, that's a choice. And you have children. It's a choice if a woman has a child before she's married or after. That's a 100% her choice. You take accountability, please. He's trying to say the woman has to take accountability that she had the child out of wedlock and what comes with that. That's what he's saying. But why don't the men? That's what I'm asking. Because, because, because let me, I'll answer, I'll answer this. I'll answer this because, because this is, this is what, okay. Does a man, can a man force a woman to have a child if she chooses, she does not want Great. to carry it to child? Well, then a, it is a woman's choice when a life is, when a child is born in this country. Men have no rights after conception. My mother was a single mother, and she will tell you she believes the same thing I do. She chose to not get married before she had me, and she chose the, the concept of circumstances in which she raised a child. He's right. Mm. He's right on that because it's our choice as women. It's, it's, he's right on that because it's our choice as women. I we make that choice. And I agree that we make those yeah. conscious decisions. What I'm yeah. saying is you can't control like Women is very packed. Once one agrees, and all from they feel like they agree. Always take one break when they agree for the whole fucking pack to start agreeing. No, I, I get what you're coming from. Like you're basically stating, like, okay, um, I had sex with this person. Why can't they take responsibility too? I get that, but like, it's also a man's choice if he doesn't want to be there. But it's also your choice if you want to keep it. Right. I was just off of the the psychological aspect, like you were talking about earlier. Like you said, it's a man. Well, what it comes down to is, let's just keep the stack, man. I'm going to just say it because everyone else is too scared to say it. Most women don't have any type of accountability when it comes to child rearing, having children, every and the consequences that come with it. You pick who you have sex with. You pick women have unilateral control on who gets born in the United States. Men have zero access to that. So if you're a single mom, it's your fault. And then on top of that, let's also add on that women initiate 80% of divorces and most breakups. So it's not that the father isn't in the life. A lot of the time he's not allowed to be in the child's life. If we're going to keep it a stack. You know what I'm saying? That's true. I agree with you. So, I know some women like that. I yeah. understand what you're and saying. And a lot of women yeah. use the child as a pivotal point to exercise leverage mm -hmm. to cause pain in the man's life. They have to sure. this is why This is why marry before you carry, because in the example you were given, what about if a woman does this? Most time when a man is having sex with a woman, it is not to get her pregnant. They're having casual sex. It's not like he said, you know what? Let's have sex and I want you to be the mother of my child. If a woman, if, and that's and this is the thing where I tell men, don't trust a woman on birth control. You better bag up twice because if she gets pregnant, you lose. Mm. You lose because it, it doesn't matter what she said before. After she's pregnant, you lose all rights because this is 100% her control. See, I believe in a world where women have freedom of choice. 
Feminism. You choose to be a mother, you choose not to be a mother. Of but course. then I also believe in a world where men have the right to do a financial abortion. You can kill a baby, I should not be able to have to take care of it if you choose to make me a father when I don't want to be. That's understandable. That's true. But it's circumstantial, like I said before, in my opinion. Well, but opinion. here's the thing. <laughs> Let's be real. If the child support system was fair to where if a woman chose to, a man could actually sign off his rights, not be financially responsible, not have you come after it. Do you think the, the out of wedlock birth rate would stay steady, increase, or decrease? Decrease. Thank you. Mm. Because he's right. He's 100% right on that one. And we're also right. Hey guys, I got to run. I'm, I got to see you guys later. Appreciate it. Okay. I'll be out in a couple of weeks, too. This is, this is going to be fun. All right, man. That was another episode of, of Read and React, episode two. Go check out Fresh and Fit's channel. I watch a lot of Fresh and Fit. You see the first episode of our content from there. Second episode of our content, them start switching it up. And also, go check out Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. I know he passed. But you still go check us. He's still got great content. If you're a guy and such, you're simping. You've got things you can learn from. If you're a woman, you got things you can learn from. They can still go check out these guys' channels. Fresh and Fit, shout out. Kevin Samuels, shout out. And this is another uh, episode of We Do React. Go check out my High Frequency Convo channel. High Frequency Convo on episode, episode, up to episode 27. Episode 30, I'm trying to do something different. I'm trying to do something, to do something special. I'm going to go this Go to this channel as well. Test out new things. Experiment. Grow with y'all. I want y'all to grow with me. Know what I mean? This is my second, this is my second podcast. Know what I mean? I, I'm going to have my vlogcast, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to have, I got two female artists for another show. My brother got artists for a show. We're going to make this ETW channel. Try, not try. We will make it a media channel. Know what I mean? That's what's called ETW Media. So enjoy. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed the content. And I'm going to do a word of the day for every every time I see an uh, a episode, and I think it's apropos. So the word of the day for this one, and I think it's the word for everybody, and it's not only for women. The word is accountability. Accountability. Accountability goes a long way. Accountability not only helps you, it helps the whole, and it helps you help your family, or help you grow, it will help you in every facet of your life. So accountability, please. And also, one mind equals one love, and one mind is how you see God. Whoa.